message today is titled, What Shall I Say Unto the Lord? That's the title of the message. That's why I'm observing protocol. Thank everybody. Would you take for granted? Would you take for granted? I grew up in a church that is very prayerful. All they know how to do. You know what they are praying for? They are dead. And after they finish praying, they drunk all night, they come with mountains, fasted, white fast, yellow fast, all the manner of kind of fasting. When God does this, when they now want to come. In fact, sometimes they even forget to come for Thanksgiving. Does anybody have testimony? At this time, you are, you are in Bali for 20 years. Ah, okay. If you are God, how do you feel? We take for granted. Just say, okay, you gave me a meal. Okay, she has to give me a meal. No, she doesn't have to. Say, thank you. God taught me several years back. He said, be very quick to say thank you to me. Be very quick. Two things. Be very quick to say thank you. And also be very quick to apologize. And I've been living like that person. Don't take for I came in the other time, I had flu throughout Christmas and even went to August Street in the New Year. My sister there is a doctor. So she understands what I may not have work in the medical knowledge, but I know flu can kill or take for granted. Oh yeah, oh, sister, you have flu. Okay, don't worry, you'll be okay tomorrow. Really? You might die. Don't take for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Somebody who helped you when you were when you came to London, you didn't have anywhere to stay. Somebody actually helped you. Somebody came to the airport to pick you. You've never been to London before, so you can't say, oh, I did geography, I have a PhD in geography. Really? Use your PhD. Don't take for granted. That's why God wants to bless us so much. But we have thanked you so little. But we have not even thanked you. God, the Bible says the hand of God is not too short. That I cannot deliver. The Bible says the right hand of God is full of power. There's nothing God cannot do. I'm, I'm a miracle standing. This, if you want to know what a miracle is, this is a miracle. I think I shared this testimony the other time, maybe I didn't. Even if my preaching today is just to give me a testimony, I don't even have enough time to do that. Don't take for granted. So if you want to type it to message, you can change it and say, Don't take for granted. You can say, What shall I say to the Lord? Don't take for Granted, what God has done for you, don't take for granted. So, like I was saying, I grew up in that church that they pray, pray all they believe. It's good to pray, pray to God, intercede. Oh my God. I mean, I, I myself also became an intercessor at some point because you can't grow as a child, you can't grow up in the church, church and they pray or they do whatever. If they say that's the church, you'll be a dancer. So, you can't escape it. So, I became, no, I, I didn't become an intercessor, I became a prayer warrior. Prayer warrior. My mind, there are people who just pray for their needs. Until one day, one of my friends, I have so many friends, if I should bring them, this place will be convenient. Okay. So I just brought one, one of them. Yeah. And I so, yeah. them so. so, one of my friends now invited me to KCC Temple. Um, he said, it's a, it's a national church, more, more of English. I said, ah, that church, they don't, I don't know they, will, they pray there. So I went to the service. I, I can't leave my church. I can't leave my church. You know. Anyway, I just, I think I went there, I came there. After the prayer and worship, the pastor, the, the GO or the head pastor is called him that. After the prayer and worship, so he came up, he came up to just, you know, around the prayer and worship. And he started, he said, let's stand up. Thank you. you are doing a good job. I will not criticize you. Because I can't do what you are doing. Don't criticize somebody. For something they are doing, they are trying to help. You cannot even do it. So let's learn to appreciate these people. Because we have a culture, I've gone back to the old temple story. We have a culture of teasing, just kicking to the inside like day, an anointing. It's not from heaven, from heaven. Just criticize. When she was reading the prayer, she didn't read it. The Bible passage was not so correct. The other time, when you were doing the praise, you didn't, the son said, Thou shalt, you said, Thou shalt. Can't you even? Look at the positive and comment. Help the culture. Who is going to criticize? Okay. That's not in my notes. <laughs> so I, I came to the church. So I was I was thinking in my mind, <laughs> they, they are not going to be praying here. I know they're not going to. When the pastor took over the mic, he said, Let's all stand up. After the front end of the worship, let's pray for Bosnia. There's war there. I've never had that before in my life. Let's pray for Northern Highland where they are bombing people. And 
there should be peace. Let's pray for a country in Africa where there is blood. You know what I did? I just left there and left my lift, lifted up my hand. I was started crying. I gave my life again. So it changed my perception that we should not be prayer warriors, we should be intercessors. Pray for other people. My message is not intercession. So I developed my intercessory ministry from that point. Pray for other people. I'll, get to, I'll give, just give it some testimonies after. So for the purpose of those who say, ah, he didn't even read the Bible. <laughs> you know, I've I, I been born again from, I remember when I was in the nursery school and my grandma mom used to take me to church, so I, I'm a church boy. So, so I've seen it all. I know, you know. I didn't read the Bible. Who? Oh, this guy. So he can't even preach. He's like, he's a singer. Why can't he just stay with his singing? Really? I can't stay with my singing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift your hands up, just thank the Lord. I, I, my God, they are not easy. Ah, lift your hands up, thank the Lord, just thank the Lord. Psalm 100. 
on your feet now, applaud God. I think we should practice that. It's, the Bible is saying, I'm not the one saying you should stand up. The Bible says so. It said, on your feet now and applaud God. I'm not the one saying you should stand up. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. <laughs> the Bible is the word of God. On your feet now, applaud God. I know you can do better than that. On your feet now, applaud God. If you are dead, if you go, you can do that. On your feet now, applaud God. The Bible says so. Not me. The word of God says, On your feet now, applaud God. Let everything that has been done to us. Bring a gift of laughter. Let's laugh. If that's the word you put in the Bible, I put my Bible and it came out. It's the word of God, and you have to respect the word of God. When you respect the word of God, you are respecting God. When you respect the word of God, you are respecting God. Hey! 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 I'm talking about God here. Yeah. You can do it. There's nothing I love you. I've seen it up to 2,000 million years in my life. But there's nothing. Yes. I can reach on there's nothing I love you. And this will happen. Because there's nothing I love you. Yeah. 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 I thought he doesn't want to do it. I'm not the So somebody, there's somebody here. You need to hear. There is nothing God cannot do except God can do. I'm the only one who can do it. Come on, come on. Hey. Sister, you get the picture and use it as an example. Please move from where you are and just come on the stage here. Just move, come on the stage. When you get on the stage, I'll tell you. I hope you are watching now. Hallelujah. Okay. So, she was sitting down there. God can take you from your present position and put you on the throne. There is nothing you cannot do. You can do that to your feet. That's what I'm saying. And please watch our life. I'm not saying short, now we need to be told. And think you come now to the window of heaven and go out to the person of God that you have been waiting for to continue. What? The only one. What am I to do? He said, on your feet now, applaud God. You can sit down whenever you want to sit down. On your feet now, applaud God. Bring a gift of laughter. Shake yourself into his presence. Notice, God is God. Amen. So, let me say this one you. God is God. There's no one like Him. God is God, and God, God, He made us. We put it made in. Where His people is well tendered sheep. Enter with the password. Do you want to know the password? I was asking, I wanted to use somebody's phone one time. I, I couldn't use the phone because. Their phone is connected and whatever password. I don't know the password. So you now have to you know, put the password and the phone open up. Enter with the password. Do you want to know the password? It's my book. Do you want to know the password? Thank you. Why the generation of ungrateful people? People God has really helped. How do you do they come to church? Go for all night or for no night or for no night or for no night. I'm just thinking, God. Father. God. Do it. Do it. And when it comes to the time of praise and worship, and the worship leader like us, oh, let's lift the hands up. This is our. In their minds, they'll be thinking, why should I praise God? God has not given me my paper. And the worship leader, you don't want to go to a place and say, sister, stand up. Then you are just why is this person looking so morose and tabunic and, you know, melancholic? Let's lift our hands and, and thank the Lord. Make me do it. Because. In, the, in my mind, my paper is not true. I don't ever lose the paper of true and they died. If you are dead, what is the I'm still going to share some testimonies about myself and some testimonies. And so, what? There's nothing God cannot do. Some of you might be thinking, oh, you don't really know what I'm going to do. Really? You don't even know what I've been through. Because we don't look what we have been through. Yeah. That's why, right. 
This brother is always smiling. Ah, he doesn't have any problem. Hey, really? Do you know what he's been through? Have you, have you interviewed him? Have you interviewed me? No, you have not. You don't know what I've been through tired. And I've been tried and tested. So when I when I'm in the pain like Timon said, you can't use it. I've been tested and tried. We don't know what we've been through. You don't know what I've been through. So leave your hand and come on, let me do it. Because my paper is for here. Because my children did not go to that school. I want them to go. Really? So people don't even have children. And they are more born again than you. They've been married for 20 years. I've known somebody like that. I think we have seen against God. I know that He has asked you to do it, to do it, to do it. God is just speaking. <laughs> When will this boy get his act together and my paper? You were in the village before you came here. It was the heart of God that picked you from that place for you. Yeah. Are you talking about that? The children are going to school. My, my, my paper. I told my friend, I said, it's good that God is always God. He doesn't get the time and say, David, don't be on the throne for one day. A lot of people have died. Honestly, just, if, if God says, David, I just want to take a rest. This is Sunday. Can you just be on the throne? Because for one day, and then I just look at <laughs> Nigeria, or I look at, uh, I don't mention your country so that you won't shoot me after. I look at China, I just see somebody who has so much, and they are not facing God. And because, because I have, I have 10 properties, I just bought one new property, and then the property, um, um, I, I don't have tenants here. <laughs> Ah! You don't have them. Some people, yes, they're on the street. No house, no place. Mm. I don't feel like praising God today because that property has been in the market for just a month. There's no. I go to them and say, Are you? I don't want to say, Are you? Are you? The person was really big. I did say it. You said it. I, I never said it. Think about your mama. Let no color of communication come out of your mouth. But you feel like saying that. He's not talking about me, he's talking about you. God has done so much for you, but you've not thanked him. You're still expecting when God does that big one. Really? If you are dead, forget me too, the big stuff. Ah, hallelujah. Enter with the password, thank you. Make yourself at home. Talking praise. Thank him, worship him. For God is sheer pity. All generous in law, loyal, always and ever. Let's open to 1st Thessalonians, we've read it already. 1st Thessalonians, I don't know why that man went into my preaching. But I forgive, I forgive him. If you try that next week, that's not as you Sunday. I may not. So I'm in a good mood today, today is Sunday, so I forgive you. 1st Thessalonians 5, 18. Anybody can read it? Oh, please, I did hear in, this, in, in what? In everything. In something. Everything. When you are not in a good mood. Everything. In everything. Give thanks. Yes. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Please, another version, because I think it's mm. another version. Maybe it's the Kenya Bible. Please, another, please, another version. I don't think the Bible says that. Yes. Thank God in everything. Eh? No matter the, what the circumstances may be. I don't want to get upset. Today is Thanksgiving Sunday. I'm really getting, really, almost getting upset. Is that, are you reading the Bible? Yes, sir. Is that the Bible? Please read it again. This is the Bible. Thank God in everything, no eh? matter what the circumstances may be. Come upstairs. <laughs> You've been promoted. Come upstairs. Please. I want to. I, no, 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 no. Please. Read. Thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be. Be thankful and give thanks, for this is the will of God for you, who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. In my life, say, put it all to me. In everything this thanks for this is the will of God. Will of this is the will of God. Oh Lord, I don't know your will. Oh my God. But thank him. I don't know whether I should do this, whether this is where I should go, whether I should thank him. This is the will of God. When you thank, when you thank God always and for everything, God will show you his will. That's what it means. Always do wonder. I told you I've been through this stuff. So I'm not talking. I'm just not saying doesn't know what to talk about. Really? Come and sit on the seat outside. Uh, I've seen dragon, I've seen snakes, I've seen everything. I've seen a whole army coming to want to kill me in my in my dream because I was praying for 
one guy, I was praying for one guy who was mentally disturbed, and I decided to actually, yeah, I decided to actually move into his house. Stay with him because nobody was going to be with him. His parents were in Nigeria. I stayed with him. I was living in the house. All sorts of demons. Yes. I said, if you can hit, if you can get Jesus, then you can get me. So I said, drag on the demons. Really, bring it. God has kept me from childhood. What can you not do? He has protected me several times. If there was one Sunday, I should have died that Sunday. I was almost hit by a car. That was the day I should die. Thank you. Hebrews 13, 15 says, Through him, let us continually offer to God the sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Um, Auntie, can you read it from the Amplified Version? I think you only have the Amplified Version. Hebrews 13, 15. Through him, therefore, let us constantly and at all times offer up to God the sacrifice of praise. You are too fast. Please. Take it one by one, because I, I don't know whether this is the Bible you are reading. Through him, yes. therefore, let us constantly and at all times, at all times, offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of lips that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. Because I, <laughs> I want this to, I want to ensure, that's why I went to, I brought all this, I could have just said it on top of my head. Let's see whether, the Bible is what the Bible is saying, we are practicing it, and let's see what is going to happen. Yes. Therefore, let us constantly and all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of lips that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify His name. Okay. Another version says, So through Jesus, let us always offer to God our sacrifice of praise, coming from lips. That speaks his name. Coming from lips that speaks his name. Another version says, Through him, then, let us continually lay on the altar a sacrifice of praise to God, namely the utterance of lips that give thanks to his name. Another version says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That says, the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. Another version says, through Jesus, we should always bring God a sacrifice of praise. That is, words that acknowledge him. Another version says, and through him, let us offer sacrifices of praise always to God, which is the fruit of lips giving thanks to his name. Don't be bored, I will repeat it. Another version. Through him, let us continually offer a, up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of our lips acknowledging his name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. All right. The two songs, I'm not going to sing. I just looked at the lyric of the song and I'm going to read it. As we are preaching, God is actually ministering to somebody. God, some, some miracles are taking place. The song says, O thou who knowest my beginning, thou who created the plan. So the plan for your life, it was God who created it. Who orchestrated my life's journey? He knows how your life is going to end. God, you are my God. God of decisions, create, creator of answers. I don't know. You don't know yet. How can you know? Mm. When you don't go to the Noah, you want to know all things. When you, when you acknowledge the all knowing God, he will, he will show you things. When you don't know, you go to a teacher, and he is the teacher. He knows everything. He knows everything. God of decisions, creator of answers. Thou who ordained my way. Or oh, you think it's just a way, you just like, what are you doing in life? Is God. Thou who ordained my way. Through my transition, held my position. That means my transition, when you are moving from one spot to another, one level to another, he held your position. That is, you didn't lose your mind. You have lost your mind. Whatever you do with me is all right. It's all right. Why? Because he knows everything. Have you watched a film that he never watched before? I know what I told you about the film. 
You don't know how the what do you call it, synopsis, whatever they call it. So you don't know how the thing is going to be. It's not the predicted words. You don't know how it's going to end. But if oh, who orchestrated the plan, whatever you do is all right. You have my total trust. Glory and honor, dominion and power. God, you are my God. Then the last thing thinking. I will forever give you praise, honor, and celebrate your name. God of the past, present, and who is to come. Oh Lord, you are my God. I will forever give you praise. I will honor and celebrate your name. God of the past, present, and who is to come, we are Now I went to the mosque, pray, whatever. So when I came in, 
I was like the answer to his prayer. And I said, I thank God. I went to the mosque and I came back. You understand? So I've been presented with an opportunity to minister to him. But what was my emphasis? He recognized. He said, look, whether we're Christian or we're we there's God. We should acknowledge God. We should thank God. Does this man know where I'm going? It's true. Does this man know where I'm going? He even reduced my care. I said, I'm praying for his funeral. He went to the mosque to pray to God. I mean, to his own understanding. And he came out. So he saw that this is the first passenger I will get in the whole day. Ah, he said, I'm going back to the mosque after. To thank Let us say thank you to the Lord, to the Lord. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll share one more testimony then. Um, then we'll go from there. How many minutes have I got? Am I out of time? I'm out of time. Okay, can I just have five minutes? Enter with the password. Thank you. Now, which of the 20,000 testimonies can I share? Because I only wrote that this one time. Okay, good, thank you. The only speed that reminded me the one that you share. Now, there was a time I was doing my degree. I did all, also before I finally finished my degree, I was at the end there, I went through this one, through this one. I didn't even know what I wanted to do. I wanted to become everything. That's why I can't tell the youth. <laughs> you are laughing. Yeah, you can relate with that. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Your parents want you to be a doctor, you want to be a painter. And they say, African parents, they will kill you, they try to kill you. I want to be a painter. I want to be a dancer. Ah, you, will, you will dance. By the time I meet you, you will dance up for what? You are supposed to be a doctor. Dance away. I just want to be a choreographer. You see? Who died? So anyway, so I wanted to be a painter, you know. Anyway, so I, I was doing this uh, course called Political and International Studies at the point. So, um, he gave us an assignment. From the lecture, I didn't understand everything. From my, got all the books, in the library, about four books, I read nothing. And tomorrow is the deadline to submit. If you don't submit, you fail, woefully. So I had to go up all night. I was reading and reading and reading, nothing happened. And tomorrow by night, was it submit, submitted. It just came to my mind. Why don't you just drop the book, put on your washing tape, and thank God. I said, ah, can I thank God? Tomorrow is the deadline. I will say, we should use our brain. How can I thank God? For what? I'm going to say tomorrow. Okay, come on, continue. Don't, don't, don't wash it. So I ignored it for 30 minutes. Until I was reading and reading, nothing was happening. I just said, okay, okay, okay. I put on the table and I watched it go for an, an hour. If I see, they just open the windows of heaven and pour out such a blessing. I wrote, I don't know what I write. Don't ask me. When I submitted it, I got the first, I mean, I got the best mark for that. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Please, be on the keyboard. If you are here, you know you are not born again. You've not given your life to Christ. Or you want to dedicate yourself to the Lord. This is your opportunity. Or if you are also here, I'm going to do all manner of other calls. If you are here, you know you know God in love. You know you are guilty. This message convict you. You are like a criminal. You feel like they put something in your hand like this message is like you feel, feel so arrested. You know that you have not thanked God at all or you have not thanked God enough. Please come out. You know you have not thanked God at all. You know you are not born again. You know you will need to dedicate your life. You know you have not thanked God enough. Just come out. And if you are also here, you need um, you need hands to be laid on you. Maybe there is um, a situation in your life. You want prayer of agreement. Please come out. Whether you are sick in your body or there is a situation you want prayer, you can come out. I assume all of us have thank God enough. I assume all of us are born again. I assume all of us are. <laughs> we don't need uh, healing and all that. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to pray now. Just keep playing. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm worthy to be praised. Oh, oh, that you Thank you. 
But don't be sending my testimony. As Nigeria has a point, and my neighbor, this one, is my neighbor, I just went there to just, just relate to them. And, and, and then they had a sister. Something was happening to her leg. I didn't know. And I just said, let's just let's worship God. Let's just pray, praise God. And I just said, I, I don't remember her name now. Let's say, let's just say Fatima. I don't know. Fatima, what is what happened to your right leg? She was shocked. She started crying. Then he's been pulling her from childhood or whatever, whatever. God has just healed you. And she was healed. Please go and see what will happen. We will be asking God, oh my, oh my child, oh my, oh my, whatever. Oh God, oh do this. Oh, when are you going to do this? Stop asking. Stop thanking. Enter with the password. Thank you. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. Talk as time to their life. Because some people, what you think they cannot share with anybody. But God knows all this. And let's see whether the people are praying with will not have testimony from 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 tonight. Yes, the hand the hand. God, we are open to the windows of heaven. God, we thank you for coming to God. Oh God, I help you to this path. Oh God, who knows my beginning? Thou will prepare the path of my life. You are the one who orchestrated my life journey. God, you are my God. God of decision. I want to make a decision. Let me know what to do. I want to make the right decision. Only you can help me. God of my decision. Creator of Atta. You can give me all the answers I need. I have so many questions. But you need the answer because you are God. You know all things. Only shame. You know everything. You need everything. God who has ordained my way, through my transition, you have held my position. God, you are my God. Whatever you do with me is all right. You have my total trust. Oh, I trust God. Because you are a You are a good man. So I give you glory and honor, dominion and power. God, you are my God. Somebody is being healed. And somebody who is in here is trying to do something with the human being. Something with the human being. He said, You are being here. Don't be a human being. Something with the human being. You are being here. Something with the human being. You are being here.
When I said people should come out, even if nobody comes out, you should come out. So wait, just jump three times. And then just start dancing, just start doing the girls. Let's praise God. Let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh thou who made my beginning, thou who created the plan, do not continue my life from you. God, you are my God. God of the nation, creator of Adam, thou who ordained my way. Do my transition and have my position. Whatever you do with me is all right. You have my total trust. God, you are my God. Thank you. 